Okay, I'd like to uh, just go through the process of creating a, uh, a PDF file uh, by scanning handwritten work into a multiple page PDF using scanners. There's various different scanners there. They're all, they're all good in different ways. There's three more there. I've highlighted those particular three there because they're all called Cam Scanner on the iTunes, the, uh, the iPhone iTunes uh, App Store. There, if you type in Cam Scanner, they, they, all those three come up as being called Cam Scanner. Now, the one I'm going to concentrate on is the first one there, the one with the black icon with, with CS. Uh, and if you remember in the previous video, uh, you might have already seen, I also quickly showed the faster scan. But I'm going to concentrate on Cam Scanner. It's quite a popular one. It's free. It's got good, fun uh, simple functionality. And I think it's um, you know, quite a good app in many respects although any of the others would do very, very similar job and work in very, very similar ways. So the key thing here we're going to do is we're going to make a single PDF of multiple pages. So it's not about you know taking a picture, making a PDF, taking another picture, making a PDF and so forth. It's about us being able to uh, make multiple pages into a single PDF. Okay, so let's open up the app. And you, uh, you, when it opens up, you get that inter initial interface of whatever files you've already done. Very quickly, if you don't like the files that you've got there, if you, if you don't need them anymore, obviously you can do various different things. I've swiped to the left there, and I'm able to see there's options there, such so as delete and rename and e email it to somebody. I can share. Uh, I've clicked on more there. I can share and, and various different things. Okay, so in this instance, I want to get rid of that. It was just a just a playing around, having a, good, a, a little go with something. So I can you can delete files once you're happy. Once you've done whatever you want to do with them, you can get rid of them. Okay, so the key thing we're going to focus on is at the bottom here. We've got that camera icon. We're going to create a new document and we're going to put in uh photographs so let's click on that uh camera icon so now we have uh the sort of interface to be able to do some work you'll see here at the bottom here we've got um different options uh we want a batch that tends to be the sort of the default and um, we're going to do a batch of pages um very quickly if you've already pre photographed some work that you want to put together you can use your camera roll you can access it access it here but what we're going to do here for this for the purpose of demonstration we're going to we're going to take some new photographs so i'm going to get my document you have to excuse this my 10 year old's uh, uh maths work that she did and i just grabbed it because it was the nearest handwritten object to hand and i'm going to take a picture now very quickly when you're taking pictures it's always best to try and be above the document as best as possible now i appreciate when you're late at night with artificial light what probably ends up happening is you you get um, a shadow uh, appearing uh, above from your your hand and your, your your camera and so you know often you might be taking pictures at an angle some sort of star wars sort of um a long time far far away um just try as best as possible to be above the document if you can um but the camera can the, the the app can cope with being at an angle i'll do one of them like that anyway for above i'm going to click on the camera icon i take a picture take another picture Let's do another page and let's do that at an angle and see what happens. So, so there's three uh, um, sort of pictures I've taken. I want to make a single PDF with these three images. You'll see here it's telling me I've got three images. Now I've done all the all the photograph taking I I I, I need for the moment. So I'm going to click on this um, uh, sort of sort of option at the bottom here. And it will take me to my three images. You can see there, if I swipe left and right, you can see one, two, and three, the various different uh, pictures I took. Now, it's it's framed it uh, quite generally. It's just gone with the outside of the uh, image that I took. If I want to use the uh, auto option that I have here, what it gives me is it automatically frames what it thinks is the right picture. And if you don't like it, you can drag using the sort of the corners and so forth. If I'm happy with that, I can scroll and go to the next one, auto. Now you can see here, it sort of cut off the, the, the long multiplication at the bottom there. So what I can do is I can just drag, I should be able to drag that down. Oh, it's being, it's playing. 
Now, I should be able to drag that whole side down. I don't know why it wasn't doing that. So usually, they're fairly good at being able to let you drag down. But I can resize the frame anyway. So once I'm happy with that, again, swipe across to the next page, auto. You can see there, even though I was doing it at an angle, it's being able to frame that perfectly well. So again, I'm happy with those three images. Double check, yeah, I'm happy with those three images. I want all three pages. If we didn't want a page, you could delete. If you want to retake a photograph because you didn't like it, you could do that. If you've accidentally you know, do not dealt with your gyroscope on your phone properly and it's sideways and so forth, the worst thing is when you get files handed in by students that where, the, where the file is sideways, okay? So try and make sure that you make sure all the pictures are effectively pointing in the right direction. Um, and once you're happy with all three pages, you can click on the green tick button. So, so sit there and it's thought there for a moment. And you can now see that I've got three pages there. And I'm happy with it. Now, if you don't like anything in particular, if you're not happy with a certain page, you can re-edit it if you want. Okay, so... Um, Let's say, for sake of argument, I didn't want to have the um, the the the, the, the multiplications uh, that are at the bottom of the page. I just wanted the tables. You could do that. I've just resized the page. Okay, and I can go forward, and I'm now happy with that as a page. Just very quickly, also, when you're in the uh, re-edit mode, it gives you further extra options. You can you can start to muck around with uh the, the the way in which it actually shows that look, basically looks like a photograph okay that's quite a washed out that's probably quite the best one of them all because it doesn't uh show any of the, sort of the um the indentations of the page my daughter leaning on the page so uh if you want color you can have that color in there but you know the quality of the image can be different so you might decide you have a particular favorite of those options if you go into that re-edit mode once you're happy with it anyway, click on the green tick and, and, and you're there and you're sorted. So there's my three pages. Okay, I'm happy with those. Uh, and once I'm once I'm sort of there's nothing else much really to do as such, I can I can give it a new name. Um, if you remember you can re you can uh, give it a, a the file name, you can do it here using this sort of edit icon here. It will change the title here. So um, okay, I'll do that. Okay, that's fine. Alternatively, if you remember when you're on that uh, initial page here, you have an option for being able to rename in uh, as an option there. So. Okay, so I've made a PDF file with three pages. Nicely scanned, I've been able to check my work, I've been able to edit it if I want to, change the format, change the way in which it looks, change, resize it if I wanted to. There's lots of functionality there, that's all for free. So finally, I can share, okay? I can share the PDF, okay? It will insert a watermark at the bottom here. It'll say scanned with cam scanner. Uh, you have to pay premium prices to better remove the watermark. It's usually out of the way anyway, so it's, it's, it's almost never uh, a problem. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to share. And it gives me options of what app I want to use to be able to share. So, um, you know, whether it be that you want to email it to somebody. Uh, or whether you want to use uh, Google Classroom, for example. So what we'll do, we'll use Google Classroom to find an assignment that's preset for us. So I'm just using a student account here. And so if you're not sure, if you're not in the right class, now this is a TY stu student account, um, a dummy one as such. Now you can see here, there are all the, the classes that this student might be part of. If I if I go into whichever one I want to actually select, okay, can I attach to an assignment? It gives me the rest of assignments that are available to me. And I can, let's say, so this, okay, the factorizing is due today. So let's click on that last one. It's a bit of a lag here. 
and uh, what it's doing here, sorry, hang on, I'm having a problem here that it's the, the computer and the phone isn't talking to each other properly. Sorry. Let's go into that again. Let's go through that process again. Share. Classroom. Attached to assignment. Factorizing. Okay, it uploads it. So I'm adding that as an attachment. It's automatically added it there. Okay. Um, and that's how you're going to hand in uh, a, a document uh, in returning back to a, a, to, a, to a teacher. Okay. It's fairly straightforward, that process. You can follow your nose with it. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully that's been informative. I hope you have a better understanding of uh, how you can create your PDF. Okay. And your know, multiple pages. And uh, certainly from a teacher's perspective, when we, when we, when we receive work, that you know, we can just literally scroll through, much like you're seeing here now. It, it makes our lives so much easier than having individual pages, individual PDFs, or individual photographs. It makes our lives a lot more difficult. Everything about it is, is, is simpler. And the, the win for you is that in terms of what you're uploading, the size of the file that you're uploading to the internet, Okay, until you share, you've not actually had to deal with the internet. But as soon as you share to your to a, to um, Google Classroom, um, you know, what, the amount that you're uploading, how quickly it then does it, it's so much faster. It doesn't use so much of your data. It takes less time. Uh, it'll be more efficient uh, for everyone. So that's the win uh, for yourselves in particular. Um, apart from the fact that your teachers will be able to get their work, um, uh, f the feedback done more quickly. Okay, thank you very much for listening.